Hey guys, uh, Mark here. Gonna just hit the river around me with a buddy. Uh, I think we're gonna go for some pike. <clears throat> Bass uh, season's next week, so I'm I'm freaking excited. Yeah, so I don't know. Get out with my buddy. Hopefully we get into some pike here. Uh, I think we're probably gonna be all over the place. There's a few ponds, a little couple parts of the river that I want to hit. So yeah, it should be a good day. I think we got about five hours before I gotta go pick up the wife. Uh, going to Cirque du Soleil tonight, so that should be good too. But uh, yeah. See you out there in the river. Hopefully we get into a couple. Yeah. Oh no, there's there's somebody there, but barely. Oh yeah, see all the carp? I can't see him from here yet. Oh my god, Jesus. Yeah, same. That's ridiculous. They're so shallow. I've never seen them so shallow. This is nuts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if we don't get into any bike. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into some carp one way or another. Yeah, that's a little ridiculous, man. Do you see any gar over there? Uh, I got a carp. What the? Oh, no way. Yeah. That might not have been a carp. Oh, okay. If that was a pike, it was gigantic. Big, yeah. I just thought it was a carp because it was like as soon as it went in, I went like that and I, I'm pretty sure I was on top of a bunch of carp. So, bam, all of a sudden I can get snapped off. That must have been a pike. Did you lose that thing? Fuck, man. We're not doing too good here. At least mine was like uh, on sale bait. That thing was only like 11 bucks or something. It was like 12 bucks or something. <laughs> but it is a fucking good bait that I'm going to have to replace. It was basically this guy in a better color. Oh, was it? Yeah. So, at least I still got the same profile bait to throw, but whatever. Got some. It's not a carp either. Oh. I don't think that was a carp. Maybe. First little guy of the day.
Herp. Oh, I gave. <laughs> yeah, I think I had a carb on. <laughs> I tried shaking it. Oh, you got one? Yeah. I'll probably just go over you and around, pull them into the slack stuff. Wait. Not really. I man, I've been. I tried to shake this guy off for like a full minute. I'll just catch him unless he releases. Yeah, I think he just gave. There we go. No, oh, no. He was just running towards me. Fucker's just gonna stretch all my line out. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, I want to catch carp, I'll throw bread on. That's something, man. What is that? Sweet. Right in the penis. <laughs> oh, this guy's hurting. <laughs> and if they weren't like armor plated, it'd be so much easier. For sure, you can swerve at it. Oh, yeah. You don't have pliers on you, too, either, do you? Come on. Sorry, buddy. I know that felt horrible. <laughs> so yeah, you can probably barely hear me, but uh, first or second gar pike I've ever caught. Nice little guy. Snagged him. So get him here quick. But, uh... Yeah, pretty cool. That's what we're here to catch, and uh, northern pike, just legitimately. Hopefully, the next one's not in the ass. <laughs> See you with the next one. Wait. So, uh, 
pretty sure I lost like a nice 10 pound bike or so over there, but I mean, that's that's life. I'm, I'm kind of fishing under geared here. I'm using monofilament. So I kind of expect it sometimes, but uh, got a few more fish since then. I'm gonna have to put my GoPro away for a little bit. It's starting to rain a little bit here, so uh, yeah, hopefully I can get her out again, but if not, I'll uh, see you back in the truck. That fishing trip got cut short. Uh, I mean, that happens. I didn't look at the weather, so it's my own fault. Uh, it was kind of an interesting fishing trip anyway. Um, that was my buddy Brian, too. Check him out. He's Ghetto Fishing Show. Um, that's a really funny show, too. I've told you guys about it before, but give him another shout out. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, so that first fish I hooked up with, I was 100% sure I had a carp on. And that's just a, that's a lesson learned, right? I mean, until you see that fish, don't just assume it's a trash fish. Um, my own fault. I'm fairly certain now it was a pretty big pike and it bit me off because I'm I'm going out there under geared. I mean, more, I'm 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 kind of aiming more for walleye with that rod and reel combo and the small jerk bait. Uh, but I do know like pike are gonna smash it, so that's the risk you take when you're fishing in pike territory. Um, whatever buy a new $12 bait and move on with your life but uh yeah I mean lesson learned you you gotta learn from from the mistakes you make when you're out if you if you're not thinking about and and, and trying to correct the errors you're making when you're out you're just going to continue to make them so I mean I might be starting to fish with a, a little more leaders I, I know leaders are the way to go but uh I always I mean, it affects the action of the bait. I know that's one thing, and I'm lazy, and probably just a cheap thing. I don't know, but it's oh, it's never really been my thing. But yeah, I'm probably gonna have to start throwing them on if I'm pike fishing. Not to mention the pike around here are juveniles. If I was going somewhere and I was seriously fishing for big pike, for sure I would be using a leader. But I mean, around here in my neighborhood, they they really don't get too big normally. But lesson learned because that was a big one. But anyway, um, I think this might be like my first vlog episode video type of thing. Uh, just because I did get rained out. To make this into an episode, I might show you a little bit more of my night. Me and the wife are going to go out for uh, dinner. And uh, I think we're going to go to uh, Cirque du Soleil after downtown. And then a buddy's stag and doe. So I might give you a little bit of all that. And... Uh, yeah, we'll see see how that goes. I mean, I'm already ready. I probably got two hours to wait for the wife <laughs> to get ready. So, but yeah, I mean, it should be a good night. And uh, I mean, I'll see you with my first vlog, I guess. <laughs> what are you so tired for? Ready? Is that good? Well, thank you. So do you. So it's a lady. Do you. Let's go back, buddy. Come. Come. Stop being so stubborn. Go. Go. <laughs> oh my god, he's <laughs> like a log. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, it sucks. <laughs> he was trying so hard to just make himself as big and heavy as possible. Uh, okay. See you later.
turn the music off. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotta take the car in on Monday. <laughs> yeah. She's not sounding the best. good fishing ahead too uh like tomorrow is uh it's father's day so i'm gonna try and maybe get some brown trout fishing in uh near me or yeah i don't know i might try and hit up a couple of the spots that i was planning on hitting today for pike i don't know we'll see, we'll see how it goes um but other than that yeah like next week i'm going to like erie for perch that'll be a great day our anniversary is next weekend, Five so it's a uh, bass opener, and we're going to probably hit up a whole bunch of different rivers there that day, just uh, check them out. Mm -hmm. Places we've never seen before, and uh, probably going to do a load of brown trout, because I heard they're running there. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of exciting fishing to, to look forward to, so we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one.